second global village. Oroville. Outside Pondicherry, yeah. World famous ashram, Sri Aurobindo ashram. Sri Aurobindo, master, saint, genius. Mm -hmm. The seeds for these two new tale of two tantric cities. Crystal LSD, yeah. You gotta saturate, fertilize the ground there. Mm -hmm. The mood becomes more transcendent. When you get to go, find Acid Paul, Acid James, yeah, they're brothers, mm -hmm. and uh, give them each a one gram vial of crystal, 4,000 trips in each vial. Don't know what to do with it. You got Goa Gill down there. Trance dance rays, full moon parties on the beach, huh? Now, got to get those parties uh, going global too. So, uh, we got an LSD counterattack because heroin, cocaine's invading, infecting, degrading the uh, peace and love. I gotta find my guru. Hashish and LSD. See, yeah, you know. You know what's starting to happen in San Francisco? With bad drugs coming in. We don't want it to happen in Goa, okay? Yeah. Heroin, cocaine, rotting salt. Out of the hippies down there, yeah. So, um, seating, um, the Sri Aurobindo Ashram, Oroville, hmm. that's going to be a harder nut to crack because the spiritual authorities officially prohibit drugs. Yeah, like many New Age communities, they're, they're afraid to fly in the psychedelic sky. They're afraid to make the essential distinction dumb people do dumb drugs dumbly wise people use wise drugs wisely yeah so in Pandia you gotta move underground sleep in a different guest house every night uh, and forget about any ashram visits with the living saint they are running there the practical da uh, daily ashram, the mother of Pondicherry, no visits uh, to her. No, you will be banned. And, uh, you know, if those Oroville uh, so-called guardians, uh, if they even get a whiff of crystal LSD, oh, they're not going to microdose. They're going to, like, hunt you down like an outlaw. Pasha. Hmm. It's my honor. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. And uh, this is going to be the most fun I've ever had in my life. First stop, not to ride your guru, Kerala Coast, South of Goa. Break my uh, journey there. On my way to Pondicherry. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Uh, alone now. In the uh, Earthstone World Headquarters, Sphinx uh, fantasizes. Oh, about the Queen of Shita coming in on the evening bus tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, normally, the Queen and I would discuss uh, hashish expeditions business, uh, but, uh, ouch, um, hmm, uh, oh. I got the standing order for 400 kilograms, 
of her assassin up from the Yarkon Valley to World Peace Yacht Karachi. We've done it before. Suez Canal, only this time, yeah, drop it off. They got 108 coffee houses. They all want her, mm hmm, world's best assassin. Ooh. How will I tell her? My heart is not into drug expeditions anymore. Uh, I mean, as a means to sort of gain whatever for myself. Uh, yeah, okay, finally. My hat had a flat. Um, Sphinx. Ooh. Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh, pre-dawn. Oh, following morning. Oh, Finx is uh, walking, but not alone anymore, to Aladdin's uh, Oxiana Tea House and Bakery down uh, that uh, Serpentine uh, Barber Lane through the center of the bazaar, trailing behind him, Pasha. Cleo, Earthman. Well, they scramble up the rubble there. Um, good morning, Zambar. <laughs> He's got the tell him all ready to go. Sphinx gives Zambar a uh, tiffin, an Indian tiffin, which is out of like a circular metal stack of different compartments. And you have chapatis in the bottom. You know, alu and sabji in the next one, alu gobi in the next one, <laughs> yogurt, and, you know. Uh, and you can keep the stuff warm. So now uh, the, the what they do is they, they get a warm tiffin of food uh, and, and serve uh, zambara in the morning with that. Huh? Well, uh, mm, 5.45 a.m., Oxiana Bakery and Tea House. Oh, yeah, there's <laughs> yawning. Aladdin, <clears throat> the dwarf is unshattering his uh, his bakery, lighting fire under his tandoori oven to bake naan inside there and uh, under his samovar. So you have the teapots, so uh, boiling water really soon. And uh, Sphinx sweeps for him. <laughs> 